Today on our equipment trailer, we're going to be installing the Optronics sealed 4 inch round LED stop turn and tail light with 21 diodes in the red color, part number STL55RB. Now here on our equipment trailer, we already have the incandescent light that's been installed in this trailer. Now while our light still does work, we are going to go ahead and change it out to the new LED style bulb, which is much brighter as well as gives you a much longer service life. For comparison, before we remove the old one, we're going to go ahead and turn off the light and then turn on the running light and the brake and turn signal so that you can see just how bright the incandescent style bulb is. Now here's what our running light circuit looks like. Next, we'll go ahead and show you the blinker. And finally, the brake. Here's what our new Optronics light looks like. You notice that there is 21 little diodes. It is also a three-prong style design. Now in our case, we're going to be reusing the rubber grommet as well as the pigtail. But if you needed a new rubber grommet or a new pigtail to connect to the back side of the light, let's go ahead and give you those part numbers as well. If you're either doing a new installation or your rubber grommet is in bad shape and needs to be replaced, that part number is A45GB, and that's for a four-inch rubber grommet for round trailer lights. Now for the wiring, there's two different options. Both of them are three wire pigtails. One of them is a right angle design, and that's part number A47PB, where the wires and the plug are at a right angle. Or they also make a straight three wire design. That's part number A45PB. Now we'll go ahead and remove the old tail light. Simply just take a small flathead screwdriver and kind of work in along the edge. and slide the old light out. Unplug the wiring harness. Now it's a good idea while you have the light out to go ahead and remove the rubber grommet and clean out any dirt and debris that may have accumulated in it over time. Just take a paper towel and wipe everything out. We'll also go ahead and wipe off the pigtail to clean any dirt that may be on the connection points. We can then go ahead and reinstall the grommet slides into place. There's a little lip here, so it catches on the metal. Now you'll notice here the existing pigtail on this trailer is the straight design. It's not the 90 degree or the angled design one. Just to give you an idea of what that would look like. This one's pretty similar to the part number I gave you. So we'll go ahead and take the connector. We'll need to plug it into the back side of the light. Now it's plugged in and we're ready to reinstall it into the rubber grommet. Go ahead and take our wires and get them worked back into the area here. Then work the tail light into the rubber grommet. that. And now we're ready to test it out and make sure that everything's working just fine. Now we're ready to go ahead and test out our light. We'll begin with the running light circuit. See here everything's working just fine. Go ahead then with the blinker or the turn signal. And finally we'll test out the brake. As you can see here everything's working just fine. And that'll do it for the installation of the Optronics sealed 4-inch round LED stop turn and tail light in a 21 diode design and in the red color, part number STL55RB, as installed on our equipment trailer. 